Hi everybody. Someone here on the iClone forum uh, asked the question, is there a video that shows how to add a photo to a t-shirt? So I thought I'd make one really quick just to show them. There probably is one already, but I've got my little shirt already here. Just chose a little black shirt. And I'm going to, to get an image, I went over to Google Images and found this little image here. So we're just going to copy this and I'm going to go to paint.net and paste it. And now I'm going to just, I don't need the whole thing. I'll just get about that much right there. Image crop to selection. And I'm going to save this as, and I'll go to my temp folder. It's where I'm already at. And I'm just going to call this, I'm with stupid. Okay, and now what I want to do is I'm going to go to my website here, which is pixeldatabase.net, just to show you, we'll start over. And I'm going to upload that image. And the reason is I'm going to get rid of the blue here. So all we get is the white. So to do that, I'm going to just turn my, turn my color picker on. I'll do it just to show you. I know that the white's going to be... So this is very low, like 125 total. And this is 765. So it's real simple. Hide total less than 500. You could use anything there. Okay, so now I'm just going to download our image. And we'll just call this I'm with stupid again. We can overwrite our original. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we're going to open this. I'm going to hit Control A and Control C to copy it to my clipboard. And now we're going to go over to Character Creator. I'm going to launch this image. I already have it, but in case you don't have it, you can just launch the image. And then I'm also going to launch the UV map that goes with us because this will help us to where to put our image. So in Character Creator, if you click on this button right here, it'll launch the UV map. So I'm just going to save this in, in my temp folder. And I'll just call it UV.png because I'm going to go over to my website. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to, back here again, I'm going to open up the UV map, and we're going to get rid of the black. So I'm just going to say hide total less than 20. That'll get rid of the black. So now I'm going to download just the purple. And there, now we've got our UV.png. I'm going to open this up. Control A and Control C to select all and to copy. And I'm going to go over here and add another layer. This is paint.net if you're not familiar with it. It's free and a great program. Okay, and now that we have our UV map, this, this helps you know where to place the image. And I just happen to know the front is this side right here on the right. So we're going to select our Control A and Control C. Go back over here on, yeah. Where's our, this one? Nope. This one, we're gonna add another layer. And I'm gonna move this to about right here. I'm gonna make it a little smaller because you wanna be able to read the shirt. You don't want it to start wrapping around him. Now I'm gonna take off the purple layer so this collapses and now we're just gonna save it. So this was the very simple version of this, uh, how to do this, you could do more with this. But we'll just call this in my temp folder. I'll just call this a shirt with image. Flatten it down. And now I'm back in character creator, shirt with image in my temp folder. Okay, so I need to move that up quite a bit. So we'll go back over to paint.net. Let me, uh, I don't need that anymore. Don't need that. The less things I have open, the less confused I get. Okay, so now we're going to move this up. Oops. We'll take off the... We're going to hit Control z <clears throat> to get our layer back. And now it's on its own layer. You can move it up. And we'll just put that there. And now we'll save it. Okay, let's go see what that looks like. And there's another way to adjust that, that's better. So that's what I was trying to show, just how to put a, uh, a little image. And you could do another one for the back, but I'm not gonna. Now his shirt needs to be conformed, actually. So that's, uh, we'll just do a little conform while we're here. Okay, I could do a little more. Doesn't really matter, I'm not gonna save this. I just wanted to, okay. So there, we've got our little shirt. That was how to do it, though. You can, you know, 
play around with whatever works for your image. But that was my short little video on how to add an image to a t-shirt. Thanks for watching.